Okay, let's create a multi-signature wallet uh, between Electrum on mobile. Uh, I have here my screen uh, from the phone, uh, Electrum desktop, uh, and also Spectre, uh, Spectre desktop. So um, it is a little bit tricky, uh, but uh, yeah, that's why I'm recording this video. Uh, so first we need to add the devices. So basically the idea is that every device uh, holds a certain key, recover the phrase, and uh, then we can use uh, different sub-keys for multi-signature and single-signature words. So first we will create a hot wallet, for example. Uh, so hot, yeah, hot core, why not? Uh, and yeah, generate a recovery phrase. So I will save it uh, somewhere here. And these are the recovery phrases that I will use for Electrum Mobile on Desktop. So I'm using not Electrum specific uh, recovery phrases, but uh, standard BIP39 because I like them. Uh, well, because it's more like a standard. Okay, encryption password, let's do one, two, three. Okay, continue. So uh, it is creating a hot Bitcoin Core wallet now. So Bitcoin Core will store our private keys. Definitely not uh, what I would recommend for large amounts, uh, but for testing purposes, it is easier than with any other uh, hardware wallet actually. Okay, so now we have uh, keys of the Bitcoin Core. And uh, for every Electron wallet, we also need to add the device. Uh, so let's say we start with desktop. So I will say uh, multi sig here. It will be two or three. Um, multi signature wallet. Uh, two or three. Uh, let's say I already have a seat, and I type here um, this one. And options, it is BIP39 seed. Okay, next. Uh, and the script type, yeah, mm, this is a native segment. So the path is correct. Okay, this is our zip up that we can also display as a um, QR code. Uh, but uh, we'll just copy it and create Inspector Desktop and uh, Electrum Desktop. Choose the type that it is Electrum uh, and uh, enter XPUB here. This is our XPUB. So that's it. Continue. We have now Electrum, Electrum Desktop and Hot Core. So now we also need a mobile wallet. So on the mobile, uh, I have my phone in the air gap mode. Uh, so I create a new wallet. Uh, Multisig 2 of 3, for example. Uh, next, uh, multi signature wallet from three cosigners, two signatures. Next, I already have a seat, and now I need to enter this seat. So, around eleven and artwork. Yep, and we go to settings, it is BIP39, okay, next, uh, native segwit, next, um, okay, and here on mobile it is a little bit tricky, it doesn't display us the uh, export right away, so we need to uh, enter cosigner key, and now we need to scan the keys. So, um, Spectre Desktop supports QR codes, uh, but uh, this QR code uh, for Electron it probably will work. So, if I scan it, it just inserted this ZPUB because it is also from Electron, so this is fine. But then the third one is from uh, Bitcoin Core, so we need to find the correct key here. Uh, multi six segment, this one. If I try to scan this, then uh, it also uh, adds the uh, derivation path that is probably uh, not supported. So I need to actually edit it somehow. 
so what I normally do in this case, and there is no uh, way to delete something in this text field. Uh, so I need to clear and I need to get rid of this um, derivation path. So I can just copy it uh, and use any uh, QR code generator uh, that where I can edit the text. So in this particular case, I'm using my own QR code share uh, repository that uh, can be also downloaded and so on, but this is export, so should be fine. Uh, and now I can scan this, and they have a valid uh, zip up here. Okay, uh, passwords, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Confirm one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, yeah, and now it actually displayed us the uh, zip up that we uh, are using. So then we can uh, show it as a QR code. Uh, and then here we can finally create an Electron Mobile. Send the Electron Wallet and then scan the zip up. Yeah. Okay, so uh, it scanned the zip up, added this key, so now we can just uh, continue. So now we have three devices, uh, Bitcoin Core, Electron Mobile and Electron Desktop. Um, here we need to finish up, just click next, and we are offline. So that makes sense because it is in air gap mode. So now here we can uh, actually create a Bitcoin Core wallet, that is, uh, sorry, multi-signature wallet, uh, that is two of three. Uh, using all three devices, continue, they all have correct keys, and we can create the wallet. So now we have the address and we can send some funds to it.